Salt sensitivity makes blood pressure far worse. Salt sensitivity is exactly the reason why some people see a huge blood pressure spike after eating chips or bacon. Unfortunately, instead of reversing salt sensitivity, these individuals are being told that the only options they have is to avoid their food favorites and lower salt intake. Well, you may be pleased to know that salt sensitivity is not a life sentence. You can reduce your salt sensitivity with a few easy lifestyle modifications. Instead of tediously counting every gram of sodium passing into your stomach for the rest of your life, you can actually undo salt sensitivity. In the previous video, I mentioned five non-modifiable and seven lifestyle factors that worsen salt sensitivity. Today, I'm going to focus on the later. This is what you need to do to undo salt sensitivity. One, lower fasting glucose. Fasting glucose and salt sensitivity are linked. Higher fasting glucose means higher probability of salt sensitivity, and that means higher cardiovascular risk. You can lower salt sensitivity by paying attention to your blood sugar. Diet has a lot to do with this. The most effective way to lower blood glucose, including morning glucose, is to reduce carbohydrate intake. Ditch your garbage foods, cookies, waffles, and cereals, and see your health improving. Two, lower your HOMA score. HOMA is a specialized test used to measure insulin resistance. High HOMA can make salt sensitivity far worse because salt sensitivity and insulin resistance go together. You can reduce HOMA by reducing insulin resistance. And that means avoiding foods that spike insulin. Among them are potatoes, fries, breads, and confectionaries. Which foods don't spike insulin? Low carb foods, like eggs, fish, oranges, or apples. By swapping high for low carbohydrate foods, you can make a huge difference. You reduce salt sensitivity, reduce HOMA, and also reduce your diabetic risk. Three, lower your triglycerides. Elevated triglycerides are a strong indicator of a fatty liver and they also worsen salt sensitivity. Triglycerides go up with high carbohydrate, high fructose and high alcohol diet. So to reduce triglycerides, you need to lower your carb intake, lower fructose and alcohol. Stay away from high sugar junk like fruit juices, sodas, granola bars and baked goods. And especially pay attention to sweet alcoholic beverages. Four, improve kidney function. Many people are under the impression that kidney function cannot be improved. This is not true, but it's not easy. The road to better kidneys may require substantial lifestyle changes. That includes reducing triglycerides, lower carbohydrate diet, avoidance of sugar, and complete cessation of junk food. And that means eating real food and likely reducing grains. Five, reduce protein in urine. That's a tough one because you can't just change your diet and make urine protein disappear. Leaking protein is less diet and more stress dependent. Leaking protein is aggravated by stress, depression, and anxiety. To reduce those, you need to invest in effective stress coping skills. You can start by reserving a few minutes a day for dreaming, visualization, and positive imagery. One day may not make a difference, but a few weeks definitely will. Six, engage in physical exercise. Studies show that physical activity is significantly, independently, and inversely related to salt sensitivity. People with the lowest propensity to physical activity are much more salt sensitive than those who do exercise. Exercise is powerful. It lowers fasting glucose, reduces insulin resistance, reduces triglycerides, improves heart health, and reduces stress. Besides, a good sweat removes excess salt from the skin, which additionally reduces salt sensitivity. Seven, improve metabolic health. The more we learn about salt sensitivity, the more we realize it is linked to metabolic health. In fact, salt sensitivity may be one of the earliest signs of metabolic decline. If you improve your metabolic health, 
salt sensitivity might recede on its own. So how about getting an A in health? Subscribe not to miss our future videos. Till next time.